This game is available now. Please go to my download links to support this channel. Download Xenon Zard today. New anime card game, Xenon Zard is here. And most importantly, as an anime card game, it has its very own anime. One of the main concepts of the game is you use mana to summon your minions, but do not worry, you do not need to draw into your mana. It has a movable mana system, which allows you to change your minions into mana to quickly accelerate the game. Alongside your life points, you have two forces with their very own life points. Forces add passive benefits like increasing or reducing damage. When your opponent attacks, that activates the flash phase, allowing you to summon a flash minion or activate a flash spell. For example, you could return their minion back to their hand, you could destroy it, or you could surprise block it with a flash minion summon. Now I'm going to quickly show you the characters, features, and walk you through a duel with the top tier deck. Huge thank you to Zen and Zard for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out the official links to download pre-register get in on this game the game is launching with 16 different AI buddies AI buddies will give you battle assistance it's not just like autoplay they'll actually tell you what to do if you want them to do so you could tap it for advice on the fly or you could set it to auto while you're playing they won't take control but they'll say hey you should mulligan this card you should summon this you should attack that also your AI buddies use machine learning to become better give better advice they grow with you during battle Battle, and you could also battle other players AI buddies so if you battle a lot with your AI buddy against a brand new players AI buddy even with the exact same decks yours will perform better as it adapts to your own playstyle your AI buddy will even help you analyze battles after they happen through a replay charts talk about misplays better plays different plays your AI buddy is truly your buddy here's a good example of using the buddy AI to help build a deck. For example, we really like Shayna. Why would we not? Let's add three Shayna to our deck. And with just three Shayna, I want my AI buddy to build an entire deck around Shayna. So we're going to click on that. Yes, please allow me to assist you with the deck construction. Give me the best Shayna deck you've ever seen. This is not just auto building. It's going to build it around me having a Shayna. I could also have a combo. I could have other cards if I want. And it's going to build me the perfect deck with the cards I already have for a Shayna. So this is the deck that it popped out. It gives us the forces we think we should use. It also at the full deck, boom, just like that. And you know what? Try it out. Let's save it. This is going to be our Shayna deck. Now, a really cool feature in this game is that they will always have an up to date. What are the best performing decks in this game? Three recent top performing decks on the ranked ladder is Red Solo Boost, Yellow Lucia's Transformation and Green Victoria's deck. We're going to try out Red Solo Boost, a top tier deck. Let's look at our boss minion and that boss minion is Solo Lit Dragon Blade. Very quickly, the top left is the mana cost. The bottom right, that two, is the damage power. So when you deal damage, that's how much damage you will deal to their life points. And 600 is their attack. So when you battle against another minion, you're going to, for example, if they have 500 battle points and you have 600 battle points, you're not going to lose 500 onto your 600. You'll simply just be bigger and you will destroy that monster by battle. A very cool thing about this deck is it's all about transforming. If you boost up your minion, which I'll show you in the gameplay, this, for example, the Dragon Blade will turn into a relentless dragon blade we then have flare zara the superior this will transform into the ignited emperor we also have a very cool card amelia she does not transform into anything she obviously does not need to transform into anything diana is a very good card as it will boost up the attack the battle points of your other cards that you control now let's head into a ranked battle okay we're gonna go into a ranked match now, ranked is very interesting in this game. It's much different than other games. The battle rules are you battle your opponent's AI buddy as they battle your AI buddy. So if you finish the battle before they defeat or lose to your buddy, you then get to wait for your buddy to finish its duel. You get to then analyze its battle. So you do not have to worry about disconnects, no BM. You could play at your own pace, at your own timings, without any limits on your own turns. In addition to that, 
that you can duel your friends directly in a live battle and not battle their buddy. And you could also turn off the AI advice so that neither player is getting additional information or help during the duel. Let's load up our deck. Hajime, finding an opponent. Let's get going. All right, this is about the AI battle advice. During your battle, the AI could give you advice. You could turn it to tap. You could make it auto, so it's going to give you advice throughout the whole duel. Let's close this down. Let's hop in the duel. All right, we're going second. The buddy AI wants us to return these two cards back into the deck, and you know what? I'll just do it. Confirm. Return. Yeah, I'm not sure if we just drew into better cards or not, but that's okay. Our opponent's going to go first. We'll talk about exactly what we need to know as soon as it is our own turn. We have zero mana. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. Now we are in the mana phase. We could choose to play a colorless mana, or we could play a mana from our hand. Now our buddy AI wants us to play a colorless mana. Why is that? Well, if I were to read one of our mana that has a color, it has a boost effect. You know, I am just going to defy my buddy. I feel that this is a better play to activate my rock boy. So I don't know what she's thinking. No, thank you. But she's going to learn through my own play style, and then she'll start recommending that if it starts working out. So we're going to end our turn. She's recommending. That's it. We're done with our turn. Now let's read our forces. Our forces are... All of my minions will return to the active state at the end of the turn so I can attack and block. All right. Attack in our face. We have nothing to block. No minions, nothing. And then our other force is if we have four more mana, our movement is increased by one at the start of the turn. So if you look right here, we have one for our turn. One movement. So we could move one minion to our mana or move a minion onto the field. So now it wants to play our colored mana. Not suggesting the colorless mana, so now we're at two mana. And now we finally could summon a minion. We're gonna summon Pinky the Swordmaster. When summoned, we could search our deck for a base minion. The base minions are the ones that go into the mana zone. They are not, we have a field minion, and then the base minion, so she's a field minion. All right, let's go. Come forth, confirm. Get searching on summon. We used up two of our mana. All right, we're going to grab the Fire Saber base minion. That's what it's suggesting to do. That's exactly what we're going to grab to the hand. Now, we have zero DP on our pinky, so we're not dealing damage. She's only good for blocking or being used as additional mana. So instead of blocking on their turn, which is our choice if we want to keep it on the field, we can return it to our mana zone. Boom, now we have one out of three mana, and she's an active mana. Now I could summon a one cost minion, and our movement's now at zero, so this one cost minion that we summon is not gonna be able to go to our mana. So this on summon will search our deck for a color based minion. Boom, let's go. Confirm, summon. We're gonna add this boosty rock boy to our hand. To the hand it goes. We can't attack because it's not going to deal any damage if it goes through. And minions, the first turn they're summoned, cannot go for the face. You have to go for the forces. And then your opponent could choose to block. So, very good to not attack here. Pass back. Let's go. Now, you could only interact with your opponent on their turn when they attack. When they attack, we can activate a flash spell from the hand, which we do not have any. Right now it's telling us don't block this attack, but we can choose to block it if we want. So we're gonna take one damage to our face. I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna listen to her. That's what she's saying to do, we'll listen. He puts his other minion into the mana row. He's got three mana, we got three also. All right, we're gonna play the rock boy into the back row. We got four mana this turn, and we're gonna return our minion to have five mana. So it's not like other games where you have to wait every turn, one mana, one mana, one mana. I hate that. So this is a great way to accelerate the game. Except that this minion is going into the mana row as a rested mana. So we're not. it's not going to be immediately available, unfortunately. But we could summon a three cost Diana. All of our other red minions are gonna gain plus 200 battle points. 
So we're not gonna really get use out of her ability, but we're gonna summon the Diana. Now, this is very interesting. We essentially have a free attack onto one of the forces, but our AI buddy is saying to end our turn, even though the opposing minion is smaller than our monster. Well, I think they're worried that they might have a flash spell in the hand. And you know what, let's just see. Let's see if they have it. Let's attack the force. Show me what you got. Is there something you know that I don't know? Okay, we went to the block phase. It was good. All right. Our AI buddy was worried of a flash spell being activated to stop our attack. Did not happen. So we made the better play. The buddy's not always gonna be optimally correct, but as I said earlier, the buddy's gonna learn from your play style. And my play style is aggressive. You just summon a minion to return our minion back to our hand, taking out our force. All right, gonna split up the damage. Now, why would he split up the damage? Why would he not just take out our force when he could have? Well, if we read our force, the force says when destroyed, we could search for a base minion. So you're not just turning off the force, you're also triggering its effect to gain an additional effect. All right, mana phase, let's play a mana. Let's go six out of six mana. Let's summon a five cost minion. When this is summoned, it receives the charge effect, and the charge effect means it can attack to the face on the turn it's summoned. Also, if I have no other minions on the field, it also receives the research effect. So if you want to read what the research effect says, the research effect, let's click up here. The minion will return to the active state at the end of the turn, which is kind of what our force already does anyway, so that effect becomes useless. But let's summon. Come forth, confirm. Now, as you can see, we did not use one of our manas to summon this card. We have one mana left. And while it's an active mana, the sword could be used to boost up our minion on the field. We're going to lose that mana forever, but we'll give the ability onto our minion on the field. As you can see, this game is very complex. So let's do what the buddy's telling us to do. Let's boost up our minion on the field. Boost it up now. Let's see what the boost it was just given. It will, on attack, we will now be destroying a minion with 400 battle points or lower. So very good. Let's declare an attack onto the top right force as the buddy is suggesting. And on the attack, we're going to activate the effect of the boosted sword that's equipped onto our minion to destroy the opposing minion. Pop it, confirm, destroy. Our opponent, this is the flash phase. They could activate something. Did not activate anything, had nothing to block. End our turn, we're winning. All right, all right, all right. Six mana is gonna spend five mana to summon a big minion, then puts it into the back row right away. So this tells me that he is definitely planning on using something during the flash phase. So it's interesting thing to note here is that the force on the top right is really important. We could ignore it, just go for the face or go for the top left force. But if we read the force on the top right, the yellow force, it says that all of his mana is returning to the active state, which means that on his turn, he could summon a big minion. And then at the end of the turn, all of his mana goes back to the active state so he could activate a giant card on our turn. So we definitely want to play around that. Our buddy wants to summon another Pinky, Pinky the Swordmaster. Come forth, confirm, summon. <laughs> All right, let's add another sword from our deck to our hand. Lots of searching, lots of consistency. Very important for good card games. We're going to return the pinky into the back row. Very good. We have five mana available. And before we use our five mana, we could just declare an attack. You could summon a minion after the attack. Let's go to the phase 600 onto seven, but we have two damage points. So we'll deal two damage. Flash phase. They're gonna activate something, I know it, I know. We're gonna pass our flash phase. If we wanted to, we could activate this to select one of our opponent's minions to make it lose battle points, but there's no minion to activate it on. Let's pass. And then our opponent is gonna have something. Nope, nothing. After the attack, let's summon a Diana. Come forth, Diana. All right, now it doesn't want us to attack with Diana. Buddy AI, you're a fool. We're taking out that top right now. If we destroy it, what's gonna happen? When destroyed, they're gonna search for a base minion. Not a big deal. Let's take it out. I'm not worried about whatever's in their hand. They got nothing. Okay. Oh, oops. Okay, maybe we misplayed here. 
He did summon a flash minion on our turn, a Chitera. Chitera's got swoop, which means you could summon it on my flash phase. Ooh, I could reduce it. So if he blocks, it's gonna take out our Diana. She wants us to pass, but no thank you. We're gonna reduce. So we're gonna select one of the opponent's minions and reduce by 300, because I wanna keep my Diana. Confirm it. You surprised us, now we will surprise you. Reduce. So this reduction will make it so it's not going to be able to block our minion and kill it. Reduce down to zero, and that killed it? Okay, nice. We'll take it. Destroying the top right yellow, very good. Now, we have one extra movement thanks to our force on the bottom right. We had an extra movement, and it wants us to summon a minion onto the field from our back row. Come forth, Pinky. Now, it's not considered a summon, it's considered a movement, and now it's basically there just to block. We'll pass, let's go, we are winning. Okay, let's read our card. If you have a minion belonging to the Sable, okay, okay, okay. So if you reduce their battle points to zero, I guess it destroys it. I didn't know that. Very good. So he's summoning a bunch of minions on the field. Summon, summon, summon. I guess this is what good that we have a blocker. Our buddy was very smart. It wants us to block with our big boy. Let's block with the big boy. Get blocking. Block it. Now, when you block, the unit becomes rested. The minion can no longer block another attack. So you can't just have one minion block, block, block. So sometimes when you have multiple minions, you do want to attack with all of them. All right, it wants us to use a colorless mana, but I'm gonna say no thank you. All right, a very good thing about this also is if you're questioning something, you could click on the Q&A right here, boom. And it'll say, why would I move a minion to the base? And even, how do I move a minion to the base? So you could read all that, what you wanna do. Move the pinky to the back row. All right, finally. Finally, we're gonna summon a big transformation minion. It wants to summon the superior Flare Zara. I could also summon Solo Lit Dragon Blade. We'll listen to it. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Come forth. Yes. Now, we have an effect on summon. It's going to minus 500 BP for the duration of the turn. So if we do that onto the 100 BP, it will kill it. But. He's got a 900 BP, it's gonna block one of our units, we don't want that to happen. Reduce it, confirm it, go down to, what does it go down to? Now it goes down to 400. Now, to evolve our superior Flare Zara, we want to evolve it. Look at the related cards, it's gonna evolve into the Ignited Emperor. When transformed, all of your opponent's minions will lose minus 300 BP, so that's gonna kill one of his units and put the other down to 100. Now to evolve, we gotta boost it. So we have one available mana with the boost ability. Boost it, evolve it, flips over, evolves, reduce, destroy. Let's go for the face. If he blocks it, he's gonna lose his unit. Uh -huh, uh, oh, whoa, 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 I didn't even think about this. We still have the sword that we equipped on earlier. So on the attack, we're going to destroy an opponent's minion with 400 BP or lower. So if we were to attack early when it was 900 BP, it would not have destroyed it. So by using our other minion to lower its battle points, on our attack, we will destroy his minion that's now 400 or lower. Get poppin', and listen, if you're confused at all, the AI buddy is pretty much suggesting nearly every play I'm doing, besides a few I went against her on. Get poppin', get swingin'. Do we win this turn? No way, no way, okay. Deal two? Yes, I think we're going for the game. We're going for the GG no re. Attack. Uh-huh, executing an action, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And then for the final attack, Diana, the reptile pathfinder. Attack. We good? Zero out of eight, no mana, nothing. Lethal, you fool. Yes. Top tier deck, baboosing up our field, reducing their field, popping their minions, and that is Xenon Zard. Love it. Ranking up, getting the goodies. We are silver rank. Let's go, let's go. If you enjoyed this video and you want to support this channel, go to my download links. Download Xenon Zard through my links to support the channel. Thank you, you fools.